Greetings, this is Vespasian and my slightly less trusty sidekick. Hello. 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 Um, this is an update on our Dark Age um, project. Uh, and it's the scenery, yes. Yeah. Uh, we haven't done a huge amount of scenery yet, but we thought we'd show you what we've come up with so far. I already showed you the church. This is a nice little Saxon church. Can you uh, see that on the camera? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'll, I'll make sure. Yeah, I'll make sure. I'll make sure. This is a nice little Saxon village that I've put together, as opposed to a yeah, Viking right. village. And this is the church. Um, every Saxon village had a nice shiny church in it. And, well, not so shiny. And the roof is detachable, so you put troops inside. I haven't done anything with the interior yet. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. Uh, but that's the church. And then we have the next one, which is a... Saxon longhouse. Uh, basically the Saxon chief, uh, oh, Saxon chief, Thane? Thane. Thane. The Thane would have a nice big shiny shiny longhouse and his family and servants would live inside it and this is one if the roof comes off and you can see inside it. I haven't done the interior, all I've done is done the fireplace so far. But Still looks cool. Yeah, yeah, that's quite cool. So that's the Saxon longhouse. The Saxon longhouses were basically a much larger version than the average Saxon house and some of them had a tower for defence and this is just a very basic one that is a copy of one in Sussex so I just thought it, it fitted the period. Um, then the actual village itself. Uh, three basic Saxon houses, one of them is a uh, roof going straight down to the floor and then two normal houses. One normal house and one's kind of long house. Well one's a slightly longer house yeah. because you have animals in the back end. Alright. So you have your animals. Never knew that. Well yeah, it, the heat of the animals keeps the house warm. So you have the animals inside in winter. A new version of heat. Yeah, so the animals are inside and in winter. Snow. And you used to have to, the animals had lost the use of their legs so when winter was over you actually had to carry your cows and sheep and pigs in, into the field so they could eat and get used to walking again. Um, so yeah, it's a bit like when Luke had to sleep inside a Tom Tom. Yeah. Yeah, because it was quite cold. It's a stank. Yeah. Mm. Although um, um, Han Solo seemed to have been fine in a tent. Yeah. He didn't really need to be inside a Tom Tom, so not really sure what the logic was behind that. Because anyway, he was already dying. Was so he it? must have cut, cut the tonton just in quickly. Yeah, how did that Jedi thing work out for him? Why don't you just turn his lightsaber on and just warm himself up with it? He might accidentally like fall over on it. But he's a Jedi. Anyway. Use the force, Luke. So this is where I've got so far with our buildings. Now, I am going to build a fortress for them. I did think of just using the standard fortress I've got for the um, Dacians and the Celts, the, uh, for the Celts. Uh, but Saxon forts tended to be uh, leveled to the ground rather than raised up and they weren't the same sort of design. Um, Saxon forts are really built on the design of Roman forts. Okay. Uh, yeah. Although Saxons generally didn't use existing Roman forts. There were quite a lot of Roman forts knocking around Britain at the time. Uh, but they only really used them when they were in dire straits. Uh, they preferred to build their own forts on flat ground. Vikings, on the other hand, used the Roman system of digging a ditch full of water and then having spiky things and then having a proper solid wall. So the Vikings were much better at building fortifications than the Saxons. Uh, although Viking fortifications tend to only face land, not sea, which meant that the Vikings were always in danger of being attacked from sea. But most of the Vikings were in charge of the city, so it didn't matter. <laughs> so we have a fortress planned, a Saxon fortress. Um, it's going to take a while to build though, so yeah. hold on. Yeah, I have lots of other stuff going on at the same time. But this is as far as I've got with these. I need a well and a butter market. And then my little village is finished. I know all I have to do is a few animal pens and things like that. Uh, but this is the basic starting point. Um, I'm also thinking of doing roofs that have been burnt, but that is another thing to do later. 
So that is it as far as the scenery goes. Um, shall we move on to the figures? Yeah, that'll be next video. Okay, in that case we will pause this video and start playing again when we get back to it. Uh, this is actually an ongoing project and we decided to film the entire project from start to finish to show you how we did it. Uh, couldn't do that with us Romans because we already had them and it's just to show you the thought processes behind how we are putting the game together. Um, and this is the scenery. Um, oh, lastly, ships. We are designing some ships. We're going to put oh, yeah, yeah, some yeah. ships. Um, which should We're make the game... Project, that part. Yeah, it should make the game quite interesting. Even though I say so myself. Uh, the, the British... Oh, sorry, the Saxons used different types of ships to the Vikings. The Vikings tended to have short longboats. Um, one idea is the reason the boats were so small wasn't just so you could carry them, but so a whale wouldn't mistake you for a whale and try and mate with you. Very dangerous being at sea with whales around. Um, whales still attack large boats today, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. Although it was handy being able to carry a boat, uh, an average Viking longboat would carry 30 men, and they acted as satellite boats to a much larger ship which was used to carry all the gold and stuff that they'd stolen. Um, yeah, so that, that is an interesting project we're, we're working on. We're doing, yeah. Yeah. Um, the Saxon ships, uh, Saxon ships are pretty much like the Viking ships, tended to be a bit slower. Um, the um, Saxons under Alfred uh, designed a new type of ship. He hired a elf and an orc and a northman to design the ships for it. Um, elf is Saxon for ancient, uh, meaning Greek, Roman. Uh, orc means foreigner. In Saxon. Oh, yeah. Is this when they all built separate boats? And yeah, and, yeah. And the Saxons tested who, was, who did the best. Yeah, they, they, design, they designed this boat based on ancient Roman and Greek technology um, with, with the Norsemen as well who knew how ships worked in the, in, in the North Sea. And so they were, the, the, the Saxons deliberately set out to build the best ships they could possibly have, which were log ships higher from the sea so the Vikings found it harder to get on board and they had a fort and aft castle which were fighting decks to fight from and that basically became the standard design of ships for the next 600 years until we modernised until we modernised, yeah but um, until steam power, to be honest um, although um, oars, uh, oars seem to have been carried on used for quite a while We're still using them now well, yeah, but not to move stuff I mean, they're just used for fun now yeah, they use yeah. sports now. Well, back then... Sports? I mean, why would you use it as sports? Well, everything's a sport, isn't it? Playing a sport? Is that a sport? Well, yeah, because... The, Meaning the, it and fit. Yeah, the competition coming up is the big worldwide... Oh, yeah, game. championship. Championships, yeah, I so it's a sport, on, isn't it? I could have been on that if they didn't reset all the scores. Look, if pushing a rock on ice and polishing the ground in front of it is an Olympic sport, then I'm going to have tiddlywinks as a sport. So everything is a sport, whether you like it or not. Everyone has a little weird hobby. I know board hobby. games are definitely a sport. Well, it I has to be a sport, doesn't it? Well, no, it's, it's more of a hobby. Well, a sport is a hobby. Mm -hmm. For a lot of people, like football is their hobby, and they collect stuff to do with their team, and they go and support their team. So, you know, hobby, sport. Is that everything about scenery? That's everything about scenery. We, scenery. we, we went off onto boats because <laughs> the boats are the next project. Um, and a fortress for these guys is... Um, in hand. In hand. We are Working really products. designing it. I'm also wanting to do some Viking um, scenery and stuff. I was thinking of having... We more or less use the same buildings for the Vikings. Uh, but the Viking longhouses tended to be quite big. I've seen someone online, I've been watching his blog, and... Um, he has built a Viking longhouse, which is basically a gaming table. Um, all the battles are fought inside the longhouse. It is, it, 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 it's four foot by, is it four foot by two foot? And it's huge and, and, and it has multiple floors and they play battles inside it, which is insane. But, yeah. Basically, it's ones you've made in the house and they've got to defend it. Yeah. And the family uh, has that, to defend that, it. That, that's basically what it is. 
Um, oh, uh, and, and another thing I need for the Saxons is a watchtower. I could use my Roman watchtower, but I wanted to design a slightly dark agey version of the Roman watchtower that I've got. Uh, I haven't got it to hand at the moment, but you've seen it in battles. Um, so that a watchtower would be handy because they went in for watchtowers in a big way. Um, and I wouldn't mind a fortified hall, which is a hall with a tower, which would be quite an interesting thing to attack. What, like a Roman ship? But you said towers on them. Yeah, but no, not like a Roman ship. Fine. Well, the Roman Fine. ships, uh, the towers are collapsible. They only put the towers up for uh, battles to put um, bowmen in. Right. So the Roman ships didn't always have a tower on them, they were actually collapsible and they just put them on the floor and walked on them, I suppose. Is that everything about Cena? Yes, yes, before we start drifting off into yeah, no, the right terrier. Um, so yes, thank you very much for watching the video. This is the Dark Age Project and our buildings. And uh, please subscribe, click like, and leave any comments in the comments bar. We will put them in the Q&A. We have a Q&A coming up and we will do that for you and our next video will be about the vikings which will be quite interesting so we'll show you our vikings we've got painted so far and how we're going with them so this has been vespasian and my trusty sidekick good day see ya